Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading and it is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it's really important that you take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. If you do have any questions, if you would like to inquire about a reading, please do contact me. All my information is right below into the YouTube description box. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, we are going to begin this reading. This is a channeled reading with Spirit. Spirit wants to give you some warnings. So with no further ado, I do have four of them here. You take whatever is good for you as usual, and let's begin this reading. We have taking steps, we have playing it safe, a little loving woman, and angels of the four directions. So let's begin with taking steps. When you receive this message by spirit, there is considerable confusion about what you should be doing next. In fact, you're not entirely convinced that the path that you are on is where you want to be. You're kind of unsure about the future and you're also kind of second guessing your choices of the past right now. So don't get bogged down in regrets. Let go of let go of future fears. Doubting yourself and your own resourcefulness is only going to keep you stuck. So you need to figure out what it is going to take to get that joy and that purpose back into your life. What is it going to take? Determine how and determine to take control of your own destiny. Know that you are completely capable of moving forward. So decide where you want to go and then take that first step. This is about knowing when you are ready to take action in your own behalf and choosing to move forward now. Moving on over to your following warning, we have playing it safe. And since it is a warning, it means you're not really playing it safe, perhaps. This is a time um, of moving on. You need to move on to something. You need to stop playing it safe. You need to move on to something new or maybe even someone new. Now, perhaps you are making the choice yourself or perhaps a situation outside yourself is forcing the change such as a downsizing of your company or the sale of your house that you've been living in you have the power to break out and to make some personal changes as well have you been maybe feeling the need to free yourself from a difficult situation or a relationship the world is open up for you right now. And even if you've been hesitant or fearful before, rest assured that you are more powerful than you think. And you no longer have to limit yourself to play it safe. Sometimes the safest thing you can do is just take that risk. The world is a wonderful place and... You have all the power, you have all the resources you need to make it yours. Moving on to the loving woman. The loving woman. This is about the joy and the sweetness that are kind of starting to uh, to drop away and there are some bitter feelings that um, that are starting to appear. There may be a disconnect with an old love or a dear friend or there may be a woman in your life that is difficult, judgmental or even working against you in some kind of way. Whoever it is, it is time to stand up for yourself. It is time to speak your truth and to know that you deserve respect in all of your relationships, romantic or otherwise. Your soul longs for you to thrive in the light of mutual honor. And if you've been settling for dismissal or mistreatment, then it is time for you to just let go of this relationship. Or at least express what you need and expect to get it. 
you can be the loving woman in your life. You own and your own accepting and your own encouragement. You can be a very encouraging mother, your own supportive best friend and your own tender hearted sweetheart. You can do all of that. But when you choose to love yourself and to live with hope, no matter what is going on, the powerful love of the universe is going to respond to you. This is about treating yourself with love, but not only love, with love and with compassion. And it's attracting those energies in your daily life. Continuing to the angels of the four directions. Now, this message reveals, this is about the magnificent power of Archangels Michael and Gabriel. Archangel Mike, Mike, uh, Michael, I'm sorry, is the Archangel of the South. And um, he can touch your life with strength and with great stability. You may be experiencing a situation in which you've been feeling kind of lost, maybe a loss of power, but now it is time to turn that around. You need to call on Michael to help you deal with any feelings of insecurity that you might have, um, whether they be physical or personal or even financial. This is a time of major shifts in your life. You need to believe in yourself and you need to take action on your own behalf. Michael will infuse you with the strength that you need to rise. Also, this message, Spirit brings Gabriel with this message also, the Archangel of the West. And he is the angel of communication and he can be of assistance in communication projects or career. So he can also help you change your self-talk. Engage in the optimistic and into the self-honoring language that you know and that you deserve. Gabriel is going to help you make your self-loving language a reality. He can also empower you to speak up to others. And if you have the habit of shutting down or if there's just something that you need to express, well, now is the time to open up. Sometimes Archangel Michael and Gabriel, they join together to assist in this endeavor. Michael brings the courage and Gabriel brings the words. So you need to get ready. It is a time to speak your truth. This is about inviting the power and the wonderful energy of Gabriel and of Michael ask for help and healing concerning and you give your concerns and give thanks. And this, my dear friends, does conclude your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I do hope that you're going to be able to try to use some of these messages. If you do have any questions, you'd like to contact me, my information is right below as usual. I wish you a beautiful day. Thank you for being there. Many blessings sent your way and I will see you tomorrow with a new message.